A week after the convoy started rolling into Ottawa, a change in tactics. Incoming protester vehicles today and throughout the weekend will be directed to designated parking zones outside of the downtown core. Deploying 150 more officers, putting up barricades to keep more trucks out, and a protective fence around the National War Memorial. But still, no timeline for removing the trucks already here off the streets. It will take more than the efforts of our officers to bring this demonstration to an end. Protesters are being supplied with fuel, food, and even personal toiletries. But now word funding the convoy had been counting on isn't coming. Well, they're actually shutting down freedom of speech. It really bothers me. They're not just going to leave because they're not getting the money from we the GoFundMe. We won't be leaving. We won't be leaving. GoFundMe says it won't transfer any more fundraising. About $9 million left. After the company says it received evidence, the demonstration has become an occupation with reports of violence and unlawful activity. The money will be refunded or go to charity. When you start occupying, it's unacceptable. Ontario's Premier is calling for an end. It's become an occupation, is only hurting families, it's hurting businesses. On Parliament Hill, federal Conservatives are divided in their support for the truckers. I understand what they're trying to do here, but maybe it's time to uh, take a look. Prompting this senator to quit the Conservative caucus. I was really uh, very uh, distressed at not seeing a condemnation of the lawless occupation. The transport minister met with some truckers today, but not from the convoy. I ask for the protesters, now that they've made their point, to go home. But for now, the protesters are digging in, despite the frustration of those living nearby. I'll be the last man out if, uh, if nothing changes, and Mr. Trudeau is standing his ground. So, Olivia, what's expected to happen this weekend? Well, police estimate up to 400 more trucks and 2,000 protesters could descend on Parliament Hill this weekend. It's unclear how the news about the GoFundMe campaign will affect those plans, but one organizer says they're now collecting money on a different platform. And as for police who've come under intense scrutiny, they've now hired a crisis management firm, Navigator. All right, CBC's Olivia Stefanovic, thanks for that.